I've created some virtual machines in Microsoft Azure, and you can check out that video in the playlist if you missed it. And what I want to do in this particular video is I want to add more virtual processors or virtual CPUs. And this gives the ability for an overstressed virtual machine that's being used for a lot of different applications to run faster. What we would do to add more virtual CPUs is not the same as what you would do in Hyper-V on a host computer, say Windows 10 or Windows Server. What you would do is you would go to where it says size in the list. So underneath overview, go all the way down to where it says size, as you see here, click that. And we just pick a different plan. So there's many different plans. Look at the vCPUs that you see here. We're currently using two. That's the one that's highlighted, and that's the one we're using. You can go down to one. You can go up to four. You can go all the way up to eight. Now, keep in mind that adding more vCPUs also adds more RAM and adds more data disks, which means it adds more cost. How much does it cost? Well, it will depend on how often you use it. So when you're not using it, you can shut it down. And when you are using it, you'll get charged per minute for having the virtual machines running. So you would pick the plan that you want and you would click resize. And then you can restart your virtual machine and it will have the resources that you've picked and you'll see the new bill as well.